Hello there and welcome to a new episode of Rams Astro. So today, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be having a little look at this Stay Puft Marshmallow and figure from the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. It's the only thing that I think that came from that movie that is good, so let's jump to it. So here we have the Go Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters 2016 or Ghostbusters Answer the Call. It's a movie I've never seen, I've got no intention of seeing. But according to this toy, it's the Stay Puft Balloon Ghost because in that movie he was just a balloon in a parade. He wasn't actually a big deity. But didn't stop me buying this action figure because I think this figure is brilliant. So you can see from the package it's from 2016. So it's got the orange and silver stripes as they had in the on their uniforms in that movie, so it's Stay Puft Balloon Ghost. Basic pack packaging, it's black with slime dripping down it, with the Ghostbusters logo on it, some minor information on the back, picture of the toy, Ghostbusters logo, Proton Stream. It's a very simple package and I really like it, it's just the, the stripes. So this is the only piece of merchandise from the 2016 movie that I personally bought. Everything else has been bought for me as a joke, to torture me. So let's have a closer look, let's get him out of the box. He's honestly didn't think I was going to open that bad boy up. Of course he's staying in his box. And of course I've already got another one. So this is the original one I bought. I kept that in a bottle hang up. And I found this about a year later in a bargain shop in Paisley. I think it was down to like £2. I bought it just because I knew I could open it. So these figures, I didn't even show you on the case. It's a little try me thing. They light up. So... I really like this figure, even though it's made by a balloon, you can see on the details he's a bit creased like a balloon would be, but he does have decent articulation for a Stay Puft figure, his arms move up and down, he's got full rotation of his arms, move in and out, he can turn his hands, his head can turn, and said he lights up as if he's getting shot by the proton stream, it's a really, really good figure, I've had this one on display for quite a while, next to my Lego Ghostbusters house, I love this figure. So, the reason I'm doing this video, video was recently at a car boot sale, found another one. This was like 50 pence. I wasn't going to pass it up because like, otherwise it would just sit there and gather dust because no one was buying it. So, I took this home and I thought, right, this one my son can actively play with because he does sometimes play with this one. But now I can, he can play with this one without me feeling he's going to damage my display one. So, this is his, this is the play one because as you can see here there's a little mark on there that I've not been able to get off I think it's pen or something I'll figure a way to get it off and other other than that it was a really good condition figure but I noticed something on this figure which sparked me wanting to do this video because I did a little research and I couldn't find any information of anyone else discovering this so when you let hold him up you can light up you can kind of see his insides I'm not sure if this will even show on camera Let's see if I can find it it's just under that mark not sure if it's showing. No, it's not showing, but I'll, I'll describe it. So if I turn it upside down, is it showing on the camera? No, so I can see there's a DRT51 been scratched on the inside of this figure. And then I thought, that's quite weird. DRT51 scratched inside this figure. I wonder what that meant. So I thought it was maybe something to do with... Like it was a test model or something in the factory. So I got this one, the one I've had in display for a few years now since that movie came out. And I checked it, and this one has the exact same thing. And it's you can kind of see it. DR, DRT51 scratched upside down inside his belly. It's not visible unless the light is on. So, me being me, let's do a quick jump cut. That didn't really require a jump cut, but I hit the camera like four times getting this from there to here. So, as you can see, I told you there's a I'll try me button. So I checked this, and lo and behold, this one has the exact same thing. DRT51. I'm still not sure if that's showing up on camera. So I googled it. Looked online to see if anyone else had mentioned seeing this on this particular figure. There's no comments, no nothing from anyone, but... When I did Google DRT51 Stay Puffed, it did come up with the model number of the figure. And I noticed before doing this video, it is on this box, DRT51. So it's just a production model number for the figure. So I'm not sure if that's something that... Who made this? Mattel? I'm not sure if that's something to do to have it engraved in the inside of the figures. But I personally thought it was a bit 
cool and weird that no one else had really mentioned it online or maybe people are used to they know that that's a normal thing so they didn't bother commenting and i'm just an idiot but i just thought it was a cool thing to comment so let's see is there any difference between these two figures this one's obviously been played with more the paint's a little faded and this one's just been on display and that one just hangs up in the wall so yeah it's too many stay puffs in one one shot you would think that but there's like 20 other different all different stay puffs in the wall behind me so this is nothing this is nothing so i just want to do a quick little review i love this figure play play wise i think it's better than the original kenner stay puff figure but it's not better that makes sense it's got more playability features which is obviously better it's got more movability it lights up but i still love the original kenner action figure let's do a picture here this one, I've got the re-release on the wall. I just can't be bored getting it down for this video. So I'm going to get another one of them to open up and have displayed beside him. So these, this figure is great for, I think it's a great stay puff figure. You can pose it in any way you want, almost. It's got great flexibility if pose wise. You can have them sitting. A little sitting stay puff. You can have them doing the matrix thing. Way. But otherwise, yeah, it's a great little toy. If you do find see it cheap somewhere, I do recommend picking it up and having it in your collection. Uh, highly recommended. Despite it coming from Answer the Call, I know some people like that movie. I personally have never seen it. I've got no interest in seeing it. I'll just stick to the original Ghostbusters, personally. It's nothing a bit against it being female Ghostbusters. It's just the, the idea of a remake. I don't need. It doesn't need to happen. But yeah. Stay puff figure. So yeah, so this is like probably one of the one of this is probably one of the few 2016 Ghostbusters videos I'll do, despite what my brother's been trying to get me to watch the original uh, get me to watch the movie. So I just wanted to give my thoughts on that and point out the little cool thing that I noticed, which is probably well known and I'm just an idiot. But hey, I just thought it was cool. So thanks for watching this wee spooky video, as you can see it's October. And ghosts and whatnot, so it fits in somehow. I made it fit. I made it fit. So I thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget, have a good one.